Hey everybody, Super Vader 400 here, Mr. Look, Super Vader 400 here, Douglas Blair Roberts, the brown skin human, coming back at you with another series of video rants, and this is a various um, rant, this is another various rants on pro blacks, George Floyd, Black Lives Matter, those type of um, things, those Black Lives Matter, Me Too, Feminist Garbage, and multiple other stuff going on, going on, multiple other current and past um, events. This is a new video intro. This is a new video intro since I've seen them misplaced my other one. I forgot to, um, I forgot to um, save and archive it, archive it for later. So I, so as soon as you're going through, I didn't feel like going through my own um, folders to find it. So I decided just to make a brand new intro. Um, since my dad's wife was here last time and is here this time, I was kind of silent in my previous defund the police, defund the police, defund the police rant and my other Patricia Cullors, Black Lives Matter co-founder, being exposed rant, I was kind of um, silent, was kind of speaking softly and silently, you can't be as loud, crazy as I want to be because there are other people in this house right now, and I keep trying to remember to do it at night, but I'm always tired from everything I'm doing during the day. So, um, here's another, so here's another, um, intro on a much louder and a much better version. And this will be the intro for all future videos. So, with that being said, you want to hear the rest of the, now with that being said, let's get this party started right now. Let's show these groups, let's show these groups and these people just what I'm made of. Hey everybody, starting from my part one rant on Candace Owens, Candace Owens' most recent firing on the Daily Wire, and my short thoughts and history with Candace Owens to see the larger, more in-depth, real-life superhero narration rant. The link will be in the description box below. This is the shorter part one. I was a huge fan of Candace Owens from 2017 when I first discovered her up until 2000, up until this year when she was fired from the Daily Wire. And I was still supporting her a little bit after her firing from the Daily Wire until I saw what her backup plan was going to be, what her backup plan was going to be. But before I get to that, first off, her um, firing. I still didn't see it coming, but I predicted her firing or that she would be leaving or parting ways with the Daily Wires after the comments she, after the dispute she got into with, with Ben Shapiro late last year. I knew right there, then and there, her days on the Daily Wire were number, but despite all that, I still didn't see her firing coming, but it was, it was, um, it was destined to happen. Destined to um, 
happened in as four with thoughts on her firing at the time at the time I was outraged and said I'm not going to support the Daily Wire probably still not going to support the Daily Wire Daily Wire them them and their plagiarist articles there are their plagiarist articles I'm ranting on them in another video but this is this is always being removed but I am okay but I was furious but now I am okay with Candace Owens is fired from the Daily Wire because in my opinion it was Candace Owens for getting her place it was Candace Owens for getting her place and speaking on and concerning herself with matters that in my opinion do not matter to her and she was distracting from she was distracting from what her actual mission was supposed to be was supposed to be it was both it was like I said I first became a fan of Candace Owens in 2017 and each topic she talked about she hit it right out of the park and I became and she earned more and more respect and approval from someone like me but the, where, I, where I became where I briefly almost became a Candace Owens fan for life because I used to defend her I used to defend her on everything from various um from various haters and critics I hate it I think I have a salute I think I have a salute praise and defend and a rant on Candace Owens haters and in a defense for Candace Owens video on my channel but um I used to defend her from a bunch of haters but it was but uh, it was yeah from a bunch of um, haters but one incident that briefly made me a fan of hers for life was was the George Floyd documentary and finally pulling up on Patrice Cullors the Black Lives, Lives Matter founder who along with her friends defrauded the good people out of 92 million dollars used that same money to spend it on other things and move into white neighborhoods per and purchase large mansions. They played on the people's emotions, raised a, raised a lot of money on dead people's back and took the money and went to the white people's community and basically for the most part got away scot-free. Other than Patrice Cullors not having a Warner Brothers deal anymore, got away scot got away scot got away scot free of justice. They will never see jail time or j they will never see jail time or any form of comeuppance for what they um Pull, but Candace Owens was one of the only people pulling up on Patrice Colors, pulling up on Patrice, um, pulling up on um, Patrice Col Patrice um, Patrice Colors, pregnant, pulling up on Patrice Colors. This is when, this is when I became a huge fan of Candace Owens. I did in her documentary, The George Floyd. She claims she won't stop. She won't stop until until justice has been served, and that is why. That is, that, and that is why Candace Owens deserved to be fired from Daily Wire. She got distracted from that mission, the Patrice Colors, exposing Patrice Colors to concerning herself with the Israel of Palestine, speaking about that, and making the anti-Semitic remarks about Jews who pay her, who run her channel, talk about knowing her place. Even if I had a problem with Jews, even if I had a problem with Jews, I wouldn't. I wouldn't talk trash and bash the people I, the very people I work for who sign my checks, who sign my checks, and more importantly, it's ethics, ethics and witchcraft. I wouldn't concern myself with something that doesn't concern me. The Palestine, the Palestine, the, the Israel Palestine thing, um, the Israel Palestine thing, the Jews, the Jews, the Jews, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, the support Trump, support. Trump supporter and now conservative, but I don't care about any. I don't care about any politics, any of that. I have my own problems. I have my own. Um, I have my own life and my own pro and my own uh and my own problems. Like like I've said in plenty of videos, my worst enemies are Afro American or Afro American women, feminazis, femina feminazis. Me too. Me too, and gold digging trash. I, I listed those four things individually, individually as as all number one because, while I mostly see Afro Americans commit doing gold digging and bad things, all races of women, all races of women, all races of women do it. All races of women do it. But my biggest enemy, my biggest problem, enemy is Afro American females. Number two, N words and pro blacks people. Who claim to be so pro-black? Who claim to care so much about the Afro-American community? Yet these two groups of people, all they ever do is fight, threaten, fight, threaten, 
quite threaten and ruin other Afro-American people's lives while claiming to be so-called pro-black. And they don't ever actually fight any white people. And when they do fight white people, it's weaker ones. It's weaker innocent ones they've never in any lifetime had any encounter with. Any, any um, encounter with, any encounter with. That's, um, so yeah, those group of people, and they kind of convince you that it's white people, that it's white people and other races you should fear. Yep, yep, and they, those people are people to worry, they're, those people are some to worry about, but those people are far away. Those people are far away, they're in offices, you can't get to them. However, the Afro, the, the n words and pro-blacks in your life, they're causing problems, they're right here in your life, and they're causing problems right now. So that was it was that incident so so um so um yeah and unsupportive oh, oh yeah oh yeah tyrant tyrant no, the next is tyrants and bullies and last but not least oh yeah then you got liberals and democrats do not mind people being liberals and um democrats it's when they loot stores tear up property and try to bully um try to bully conservatives try to bully um conservatives and I guess right-wing people I, th I guess that's where I um, have a problem that's where I have a problem and last but not least two-faced two-faced unsupportive tyrannical toxic toxic parents toxic and abusive and or abusive parents those are my worst enemies those are what I choose to stand to stand to take a stand uh to take a stand against so um yeah and that's um and the but, but what i'm but all that is what is why candace owens deserved to be fired from the daily wire because it was supposed to be taking down black lives it was supposed to be it was supposed to be making sure those black lives matter people see justice oh yeah Make those Black Lives Matter people see their get their comeuppance for what they for what they pull for what they pull. But then you kept you kept start concerning yourself with other things that don't matter. And not only did you do that, but then you um. Now I'll talk about oh now I'll talk about it here. Uh, rapper Hot Spice, the new rapper Hot Spice. She had a harm. She had an infamous but infamous, hilar infamous and hilarious but harmless song called you think you the s but you ain't even the fart and candace was candace always in in the world are like all offended by that when there are worse things taking place over just a harmless rap song yeah that that'll be for another video but it was that incident and then but i still supported candace owens and it, it was after her it was what she did after her fire from the daily wire first after years of talking bad about the Afro-American community, uh, she's now praising them. And in my opinion, Afro-American community, in my opinion, they don't deserve any more praise. In my opinion, anti play They deserve to be bashed. Only give praise and respect when it's deserved and earned. They deserve to be bashed. They deserve to be bashed for their crimes and what they have um, done. Now she's speaking positively about afro um, afro um, Afro-American, Afro-Americans, Afro-Americans, and then the second thing, even worse, oh yeah, Afro-Americans, and, and, and um, she's doing what her naysayers and haters said she was going to do as soon as she got that wake-up call and was, um, and white supremacy, quote-unquote, was going to stop, was going to stop using her, and when she got fired, and that's try to come crawling back to the same Afro-American community that she talked trash about that she talked trash that she talked trash about now she's on she's on the breakfast club and various black medias that that if she still on her platform a year ago a year ago or just a couple of months ago she would be bashing she would be bashing now she's now going to black media now and then the worst but even worse than that the biggest one the biggest one this is the worst one right here she said she said she made those anti-semitic remarks and got fired and 
got fired, knowing she didn't have a backup, backup plan, a backup career, a side hustle, a side hustle. I thought she had a backup career and um, side hustle. Instead, she, instead, she's another YouTube social media personality actor and scammer, scammer who wants you to support her locals page, a pay website, which is a pay website. That's not even free like YouTube is, a paid subscription website. Um logos and wants you to donate money to her via cash app via cash app and money box just for talking on a webcam and a microphone which I'm <coughs> doing right now which is free which is free so which is um which is free you're a YouTube social media personality and actor that is free you should not have to pay someone to listen to their, to, to their opinion on something, especially when the article that they're giving their opinion on is not even theirs. And sometimes the opinion is not theirs either. Yeah. There's no form of money on um, my, um, there's no form of money on my uh, accounts. The only money I will be taking from people is the money from my comic book and screenwriting. Oh yeah, com comic book and picture novel for me, multimedia franchise which I've been working on and plan to debut in the future. So if he wants to anyone any detractors want to come at me. So um yeah. But um it was um there that's um uh, that's when I um abandoned um Candace Owens. Everything I liked about her it was one gigantic griff. It was one gigantic um it was one gigantic griff and one gigantic scam scam so yeah this is why i no longer support candace owens you got a problem with it well, feel free come over here where i am and do something about it because i'm the one you call when you need your ass kicked call douglas blair roberts super beta 400 the brown skinned human the equalizer and i will rearrange your jaw and correct what your forefathers and parents didn't do and that's whoop your ass they didn't kick your ass hard enough i will i will correct that wrong today when we be and if you got a problem with that as always suck my dick and kiss the brownest stinkiest part of my ass all right i'm finished you want to hear the rest of the music turn the video off right now to see the larger more in-depth part two real life superhero version narration video Click the link in the description box below. I'm finished.